In this test, we're going to look at the uh, circuit of a motor before and after uh, varnishing. So, first step, start the machine up. Auto mode. Short the leads together. One to two. Okay, press OK. Move the two. Okay, and finally move one, lead one to two. Press OK, 124, 124, 124, OK, we're not doing insulation to ground, there we go, here's our readings, 86, 86, 86, 49, 49, 49, 24 millihenries, 24 millihenries, 24 millihenries. Now, do one quick test on 2 to 3, in manual mode of impedance, so we have that. Which is a 20, 100, 124 ohms of impedance inductive at 800 hertz. This is that same stator going through the trickling process, warming up. Temperature is monitored as we uh, warm up the stator coils. Now the trickling process starts. With the uh, windings being warm and the stator being relatively cool and the table at a slight angle, the varnish will fill um, the end turns and then flow through the complete stator through a process called capillary hysteresis which causes it to flow from the warmer to cold. And when it does that, uh, you end up with a fully void-free insulation system. Once the varnish has been trickled fully into the insulation system, the heat is then increased in order to cure the varnish directly on the uh, coils. This is the equivalent of three dips and bakes, but again, with a void-free insulation system. This machine can handle up to 1,500 pounds. Okay, following the trickle process, which the stator has now been insulated with varnish, we are now going to perform the winding tests again.
first step, we short the leads together. And then in the same order. Lead one. Two. Finally, lead two to three. Forming an isolation to ground test. 125, 86 straight across, 25 millihenries, minus 48. You can see there's a slight change. The manual mode, the impedance is measured as 126 ohms of impedance inductive at 800 hertz. It's also important to note the total time on doing this job was roughly uh, two hours versus the equivalent of about 20 hours for two dips and bakes.